Nearly 700,000 Ontario students will be turn returning to the classroom on Monday as schools across the province gradually reopen. Durham, Halton and Hamilton are a few of the regions that are part of this week's reopening. Schools in Toronto, Peel and York will stay closed until February 15th. Meanwhile, union officials tonight are questioning the Ford government's claims. They've invested COVID-related COVID funds into hiring more educators and custodial staff. QP says it has been denied access to a board-by-board -board breakdown of the number of staffing additions. This is a government who talked about transparency and being for the people. And being for the people means not keeping secrets from them. And if something so simple as how many custodians have actually been hired cannot be shared, it really begs to question uh, what else don't we know? And what else has been told to us that is really uh, maybe not based in, in factual information? And for parents, you know, this is why folks are questioning the integrity of the education system right now. And collaboratively, we need to do something about it. Uh, it's not right and it needs to stop. Union, union reps say they made a freedom of information request back in December asking to see government hiring data on COVID-related education funding. QP says the ministry turned down the request citing cabinet secrecy.